Hello everyone, welcome back again with the new video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can revoke the identity from the Hyperledger Fabric Network. Before starting revoking the identity, we have to know like what is the process for creating the certificate for a particular user. First one is the registration and the enrollment. So in this step, generally admin of the organization is responsible for registering the new user. In the diagram, you can see here, in the first step, admin of the organization need to register that particular user with the certificate authority for each organizations we have dedicated certificate authority so let's consider about this organization one we have org one as a ca org one ca as the certificate authority for this organization in the first step or organization admin request create a registration request for the certificate authority and get one secret so in the registration process, we can pass either us, our own secret. If we are not passing, then certificate authority written one new secret. I will show you when we jump into the VS code, like how exactly the secret looks like. But this is the first process, registering and getting the secret using admin identity. This operation done by admin of the organization only. Organization is certificate authority admin. So when we get this secret, so this secret can be send to the user who want to enroll using this secret the whatever the new users who are going to enroll he will create certificate signing request for creating the certificate signing request we have to have public key and the private key i mean this user need to have this public key and the private key using this he create the certificate signing request and request to the same certificate authority the certificate authority just verify if this is the valid user because admin have already registered that user and once that validation takes place and this certificate authority of that organization written one certificate to the user and this is the certificate for that particular new user in this registration and enrollment process user get finally certificate after creating the certificate signing request the flow is straightforward first one is the registration second one is the enrollment so registration can be done by organization admin and the enrollment can be done by uh, this directly user if he has the secret but in our applications we are doing everything on the behalf of this user so let me show you that that, that code actually how exactly it looks like okay so in the application we have app 2.0 folder and inside the app Another one folder is there app and inside that helper.js is there. In the helper.js, whenever we are getting new registered user, we are just checking first if it is available in the uh, wallet. Once we get, then we are returning directly. If we don't have that user, that's a new user. It means we, this you can see line number 76 admin user, we are creating the object. And this is the registration process I was talking about await certificate authority register and we are providing this affiliation enrollment id and we are not providing any explicit secret so in this process certificate authority returns one secret so i'm just printing here this secret on the terminal so that i can show you the, like, how it exactly it looks like once we get this secret the certificate authority we, i mean we have to enroll the same user with the same secret for that particular enrollment id and this process can be done by directly user as well. But on the behalf of the user, we are do doing everything at the API side. So once we done this enrollment, we get this some kind of data. Inside the enrollment, we will have this uh, certificate. Second one is the key. That is the private key. This user generally can create his own public key and the private key. And that's a separate part. In this request, by default, it's creating the public key and the private key creating the CSR and sending to the certificate authority. And finally, we are creating that as identity and putting into the wallet for that particular user. So this is the process I was talking about. Next step is how exactly revocation works. Let me show you. This organization admin need to revoke that particular user from the certificate authority first. Once that is done, the same user can be revoked from the fabric network as well. So at the both of the places, we have to revoke the identity for that particular user. Identity in the sense certificate only, uh, not particular user ID. So we can revoke the certificate of the user. 
So let's jump into the VS code. Let's see how exactly different steps involved in this. Okay, first one, we have to create our network right now in, in this, using this repo, we are going to create a new network. Okay, so from the scratch again. So I'm again, assuming like you are already familiar with the repo and this first four steps, I'm not going to create because those are already covered, like cloning the repo, creating the certificates using certificate authority, creating the uh, channel artifacts using the MS organization MSP, creating the channel and joining the peer, this part we are going to do. But before that, we have to run our, all the services. So I'm just going CD artifacts, channels, create certificates CA. I have to run all the certificate authorities first. Docker compose up in detached mode. So all the certificate authorities are up and running. We have three organization network, three peer organization and one order organization. So total four certificate authorities are there. So what is the next step? We have created already so channel artifacts. Now just go to the artifacts, run Docker compose up in detached mode so that all the peer services cows DB and the orders will get created. So these services will be up and running. Let me show you Docker PS. We can see here a lot of different services like peers, cows DB, orderer, and the certified authority. What is the next step? Creating the channel. So I'm again creating the channel here. So these are the repetitive steps I have already covered in last many videos. So I'm not just going through each and every, uh, each and every commands and steps. Next one is the deploy chain code. So this deploy chain code generally deploy Fabka chain code on the existing network. So this is the overall process for creating the new network. So the, the chain code is getting deployed on the network. So it will take some time, maybe 30 second to two minutes. It depends on your resource configuration. Okay. So our network is already up and running. So next is we have to run our API CD API. So make sure you have created the connection profile already. I did not change any config. Uh, I did not change any certificates. So that's why already I have created the connection profile. So I will not be creating again, but in case if you create, if you're doing from the scratch with the new certificate, you have to create the connection profile. May, let me, maybe let me show you how exactly we can create. Go to the config and just run this generate ccp.hs. So it will generate this latest connection profile. Okay. Now after this, I'm just running the server, nodemonapp.js and our server is running. So first step, we'll try to run, we'll try to register one new user, register and enroll. Okay. So at the API side, we are doing from the postman, but admin is doing everything. Let me show you here. Okay, just register the new user. Test 10 is the new user that who's, I mean, username is the test 10. Okay, so I'm just registering it now. So this is the collection actually you already have in the YouTube. Uh, description, we will get a link of the Postman collection. Okay, so this test 10 user is already enrolled. So what is the next step? We have to verify their identities. In the wallet, you can see test 10 user is there. Now let's verify if he can do some kind of transactions. So I'm just again using this token only to interact with the network so that the same identity can be used. In the authentication, I'm just adding the new token. And in the body, we are creating one Tesla car. Okay, let me show you 200. Let's create a 200. So I'm sending this transaction and invoking actually. Yes, yeah, successfully invoked and we got transaction ID as well. Let's verify on the cows DP as well. Blockchain. In my channel underscore fab car, you can see here. Tesla 200 is there and we have already successfully invoked. Okay, so now what we can do, we'll revoke this same user from first certificate authority and next one from the fabric network. And after that, we'll try to invoke the same transaction. 